how are you? As you can see, here I am at the amazing Sparkle Foundation. And the children behind me were just having a playtime. It's a kind of assembly, a bit different from we have at school. But they're having a dance. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the work that they do at Sparkle. Can I introduce you? This is Sarah, who is the founder of the Sparkle Foundation. And at school this year, as you know, we are helping Sparkle Foundation with our Ramadan campaign. The school is running. The PTA at school are running, I should say. So, Sarah, would you tell us a little bit about Sparkle? No problem at all. Um, so, Sparkle is running from two-year-olds through the way to 18. We've got an education programme, which is nursery children, after-school programme, adult literacy, youth group. We've also got a feeding programme, breakfast and lunch. We've got our on-site medical clinic and our outpatient services, as well as community groups that go out into the community doing different awareness campaigns. So, uh, it's fully-fledged, 17 villages, 14,000 people. Um, yeah, it's making a big difference here in the community. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I've been lucky enough to be doing some teaching here. I'll tell you all about it when I get back. Um, I just want to finally t uh, ask Sarah a little bit about the campaign that we're running, which is to help fund a farm. Can you tell everybody about that? Yeah, 100%. So we're feeding 300 children a day, which is a lot of you meals. You see them. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, due to COVID and lots of other things, the price of food has gone up so much that actually now what was the cost is three times more expensive, making it really difficult for us to keep fundraising. So we want to have a farm so that we can grow our own food and feed yes. our children and then hopefully be able to have more food to be able to sell to get money back so that eventually we can feed even more children. Um, it's a real opportunity now for us long term to be able to help our children. So and tell us how much will that cost roughly do you think? Uh, roughly, I think between forty-five to fifty thousand dollars. Being completely honest with the price at the moment for a farm, um, so we need all the support we can get, and then long term after that is obviously to build on the farm to get different animals. Yeah. Um, so we can really make it um, an amazing education opportunity as well for our children to learn. Well, I was hoping that that was a, the other question I was going to ask you about. Do you have do you have any access here for children from our school, older children in the secondary, to possibly come down and do some community service? A hundred percent. I mean. We are doing group trips um, for schools to come across, teachers come, uh, we've done the whole sort of risk assessment so that we know what we can do, we've got a shack next door or there's local places in the house and then students can come and they can learn, they can teach the kids, we can do shared learning, I mean every opportunity here Thank to you. get involved. Thank you so much Sarah. Jazz, this is an amazing place. I can't recommend it more highly. I've been smiling the whole time I've been here. She's sparkling. I'm sparkling! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Thank you Sarah. No worries. Thank